This is a sponsored video. Just to let you know. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Yogscast. Today we're playing Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Mm. It's the latest Witcher game from CG Projekt Red. Uh, we're launching it through GOG, mm -hmm. uh, which is part of the CG Projekt family. It's a great uh, distribution site. We use it a lot. We love it. Uh, it works perfectly. Um, so if you want to buy Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales, uh, mm -hmm. you can use our link, which is in the description. That will support us. Uh, we know the GOG guys and CG Projekt guys, we've been out to Poland and, and drunk with them. It, it, Actually, they don't drink. They they think we drink a lot. Well, I think we get into a feedback cycle. Yeah, they expect that we're going to drink, so they get a lot of drinking, and then we think they want to drink a lot, so we drink a lot of it, and then oh, it's it's messy. It's rough. Anyway, uh, I've played twelve <laughs> hours of this game Ooh, so far. You've recruited the dog. I've recruited the dog into my army. <laughs> that was an achievement I got yesterday. Did he help you find the trinkets? Uh, well, dogs do that, don't they? They sniff out, sniff stuff. out good stuff. So yeah, we're going to play this. We've played a little bit of it yesterday, um, mm. and we're going to show you that now because um, we wanted to sort of pick a bit of the start of the game, which kind of gives you a good overview of of how to. What the game's about. Mm -hmm. There's Gerald there, there on is. the left. Jerry the Witcher. So I assume he's involved. I haven't met him yet. Oh, okay. um, and obviously this is Queen Me, who you play as. Um, ah. I feel like that's a bit of a spoiler because... Oh, does she not have the massive scar across her face at the beginning? Not, no, not not yet. So I assume <laughs> right. I assume that's coming though. Ooh, well, I mean, maybe maybe you can make the right choices and not get a brutal scar. That is it. There's a lot of choices in these games um, and they, they do... They do punish they do you. Count. So maybe I'll get a tattoo or something instead. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna zoom in mm -hmm. and, um, and I'll see you in a second. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Yogscast. Today me and Ben are looking at Thronebreaker, The Witch Tales. Ooh. This is the latest Witcher game in the series. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually sort of using the Gwent um, card game mechanics to right. make a full RPG. So it's got ah. a lot of story. I'm playing as Meeve, who's this mm -hmm. queen who's returning to her homeland of Lyria. Um, after being away on campaign. Right. And she comes home to find bandits are invading, the uh, whole place is on fire. I've read all the Witcher books. Right, okay? and that's pretty standard Witcher I've fare, played all the Witcher it? games. I love the Witcher. Everything is like this. Everything's been ravaged. <laughs> Every, been, no, nobody is having a good time. No, I mean, like, if you find the most tranquil village ever in the world, you know something. It's got dark. a dark, sinister secret. That's right. Isn't it's it? like they're sacrificing babies or something <laughs> to, like, you know, keep young. Basically, what's happened is Nilfgaard has mm. invaded um, Duke Ardell Ep Dahi. Right. who's the, the the Chancellor of the Army Group East. A small force of the massive Niflgaard army right. has has come in and it's like just invaded Lyria completely and started oh, burning man. stuff, wrecking stuff, making you, a big mess. You leave your homeland for five minutes and someone comes and takes it. So, exactly. That's how Jeez. it works in this game. So, um... I'm I'm the queen. I've been away on campaign, yeah. and um, I've just done I've done the little bit of tutorial bit, which was killing a few bandits, and yeah. now I'm I'm seriously preparing to fight. Right, you're ready to take back these your North Guardian enemies. So it's got these voice acted bits. So I'll try and be quiet. <laughs> try. At long last, she said with a smile. Neve resolved to speak with the commander, one Baronet Eldar. It was the first time they met, and the youth very much impressed her. Okay. Yet instead of questioning Eldar about the foe's troop movements, Reynard took the conversation down a seemingly irrelevant path. And how's your father, if I may ask? Mm. In good health, I hope. Yes, though he still nurses that bump he suffered while hunting last winter. Yet he's not one to complain. I'll tell him you asked. Irritated at the trivial nature of the conversation, Neve gave her horse a dose of her reins and cantered off. I'm already on board with me. <laughs> I also was not interested in that conversation. Well. Reynard, this is no time for gossip and pleasantries. We are at war. Okay. Yes, Your Majesty. And in such times, little should be taken at face value. Even a man's name. Okay. Right. Get to the point, Reynard. Eldar's father died a month past. His son, I venture, should have known as much. Oh. But that means... Oh, the bastard. <laughs> Impeccable accent, though. Blooming bastards. <laughs> Nilfgaardian spies are ever well prepared. Okay, wow. so they're in fact just Nilfgaardian. Tell me, how did you know? He wears He's no mourning on his armor. We're not for that. I dare say I might never have guessed. So this is our chief advisor. And okay, He's companion. on the ball. He knows what's to observe up. Observe these Nilfgaardian mummers. So, so obviously Nilfgaard are very clever both in war and spying. Right. They're very good at infiltration. They have like a lot of behind the line stuff. They have a lot of yeah. secret. Very dodgy stuff going on. We should probably keep an eye on them, then see what they're up to. We, yeah, we exactly. Assemble a force. 
Tell them to follow our new allies. Observe them closely. As you wish, Your Grace. Reynard scouts did as ordered, watching the false Lyrians while themselves remaining unseen. Soon after, a scout returned with news that the false Lyrians seemed headed for Rastberg, mm. a castle several leagues to the north. Okay, so, you know, they're like going to Trojan horse it, right? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Like a Lagoan pretending to be Lyrian soldiers. Right, and then, and then kill everyone in the night. Yeah. Oh, this poor oh. woman. Burnt it all down. We don't have time for this. We've got a castle to save. Exactly, but we can loot stuff, actually, on the way to this. Oh, well, that's charming, that is. <laughs> we might need it. <laughs> so we should probably just have a very quick look at our army before we yeah, make worry sure about prepared. fighting. So this looks like the castle here, actually. Rastberg. Looks like this gate was already yeah, smashed there's down. there's the blue guys. There's the same guys, right. So we've seen them there. Obviously, we need to rush to okay. their rescue. Let's prepare. So let's quickly have a look. So um, we've got our little base camp. Oh, nice. And we've got our main kind of deck that we fight right. with. So it's mm -hmm. got Reynard. He's cool. our, our, He's our, our best charm. guy. He's uh, a good guy. We've also got um, Caldwell. Oh, Caldwell. He's here. He's um, an advisor, <laughs> right? A little, a little puppy with him. Yeah, he's like the paymaster, I suppose. Is he? Yeah, the count. And then we've okay. got some war wagons. Cool. We've got some arbalest guys. Cool. We got some so loyal scythemen that we got out of the Peasants. fields. We got the some drummer drummers, boys. and we got some. This That's is obviously us. The, the, the us with our warhammer. Now we can change our um, oh, change our, our, wood, yeah. our weapon oh, you from got three. bastard sword. Yeah, uh, which which boosts an ally or. Uh, Warhammer, which which combos well with something in our deck, so it right, moves the card to the top of our pick deck. Pick a card to the top and then use another card to get that top card off. Yeah, well, in the second round of combat, you will draw cards, mm. so you can kind of use that. Or damage an enemy unit and all other enemies of the same power by four. Oh, wow. So that if we do it at the right time, I think yeah. we should equip that. That's quite good. And also, I wanted to change this up slightly. I wanted to take out some of the drummers yeah. and actually add some more pikemen. Now, these pikemen are a uh, classic Gwent card, summon all copies of this unit out of your deck. So you right. play one, you just, you just try and keep one in your starting hand. I see. And then you smash and then them you all just down. And all five in one go. Yeah, and it thins your deck down mm. and also gives you a 25 strength unit. So I, I'm, like, I'm liking that. Right. That's the only change I've really made to the starter deck. I've added more pike because I like them. I like those Excellent. sort of mechanics. And I guess we can do other kind of upgrades and things. Yeah, here, but... you've got like a tent where you can chat to, oh, nice. to, to people story. and get some story if, if you're up for it. I've read all it. It's pretty map. good. I, I'm really into the Witcher universe. It's very dark. Mm. It's very grim. It's like if Game of Thrones had like way more fantasy elements. Isn't yeah, it? it is. And it's a bit... It's a bit sort of yeah. It's not less. There's not too much magic really, actually. In, in no, they're just like monsters and beasts and stuff. Aren't they? Yeah. The false Lyrians approached Rasberg Castle. They sought to convince the defenders to open the gate. As their commanders negotiated with the commander on the ramparts, the remaining infiltrators crouched hidden behind a wall, awaiting the signal to rush forth. Time yeah. for Baronet Elder to join his falsely claimed father, muttered the queen. <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> so she doesn't muck around. No, she's like a female sharp with the same accent. Follow me! So this is a Gwent battle yeah. using my deck, but it's only one round rather, right. than, rather than three. Than three so it's have. just sort of a quicker a quicker fight. Yeah. Um, this is there's a lot of puzzles in this. Mm -hmm. um, the puzzles are really, really, really good. Like the I haven't found myself like stuck on any, mm -hmm. but they've taken a while, which is how long I which is how I want my puzzles to be. Yeah, okay. So so far the balance is pretty good. Well we like this guy, he's very strong. He's a um, gold rimmed card as well, so you yeah, do have these always better. sort of slightly better cards. So we, do, we do want one of those halberdiers, don't we? I think we're gonna chuck the ah, medic. Got rid of the medic, got the halberdier. That's got the perfect. pikeman. Oh that's what I meant. Um, so, so the medic obviously brings stuff back from your graveyard, but this is only a one round combat, so we don't really want to bring anyone back. These are our cheapest, crappiest units, so we should probably just cycle out for another Arbalest. Yeah, there you Arbalest go. Yeah, good. I think we'll finish that there. And we can, oh no. We still have three more So if, if this was multiple rounds though, you could save those redraws for round two. Oh, uh, right. But I'll just redraw. Oh, oh no, nothing but pike Oh, okay. okay. So, right, so we've got these two rows each, Alba! and he is... So normally in Gwent you've got three rows. Yes. Uh, but in this case we've only got two. Um, it's sort of slightly slightly more simplified, um, but that's a good thing, yeah. I think. Uh, if you don't know how to play Gwent, don't worry, this game does teach you. Basically the only thing we're trying to do is 
that all their numbers add up over on the right-hand side. Yeah. And by the end of the game, we want our number to be higher than theirs. Yeah, so we need to build a bigger kind of force and, and win. And normally what happens is you sort of do multiple rounds. Mm. So it, it's the so best of three. It's normally. about how much you commit to the, to the field. But in this case, I'm just going to commit everything. One round, all in. Some of my cards do combo, so I should play this wagon first. So yes. I'm going to play the wagon first. The wagon gets stronger up when you play more cards after the wagon. Yeah. So he has a leader yeah, as well. Run! These guys... Next time an enemy uses its order ability, boost itself by two and gain and two gain armor. Two armor. So this is the order. The order on the on the, the like green times one. The um, these are both orders. So I can yeah. order my banner to move mm -hmm. out the way. I can order my artillery to fire and use up all of its armor in yeah. damage, which is quite useful because it will damage the entire row. But if I build this up over the course of the game, then you can do a bigger, bigger, bigger sweep splash. right at the end. But I don't really want to use it now because it will actually buff him by four. Yeah. And buff this guy by four. So if we I want to try and order. snipe those guys with crossbowmen, I suppose, before we do use any of do our any abilities. orders. We don't have too many orders actually because I took the drummers out, and yeah. they're the main sort of characters that do ordering. Okay. Um, so yeah, if no enemy is marked to mark the lowest enemy, after after three turns, transform it. So he will actually steal this. Steal one of our guys. Um, so he will he will actually steal this at some point anyway. That's a bit bad. Anyway, let's track throw a war wagon down. Okay. The war wagon um, brings in two chump infantry. Yeah, and these guys when they die, they do damage to his stuff. So he might have something that kills or does damage to our board. Mm -hmm. Oh, this guy's gonna get bigger. Every turn, start of your turn, boost your units by one if this unit has armor. Wow, so we do want to try and wear them down a bit. So these Crossbowmen mm. do damage based on the number of units you already have. However many units in the row. So if I put this down now, it would do five. Now I want to do six to clear off his um mm. his thing really. I'll do that. I'll throw down another war wagon. You can try Got a plan. Right. Just send the peasant horde. The light infantry horde is here. I could just I think I might just do the order now before these clear guys. Clear off get his killed. armor. It will buff this guy by two, but it'll clear the armor and it'll kill that guy yeah. before he has a chance to get buffed. So now this guy's not buffing anyone, and also it's, it's okay, because yeah, I think got... this thing's going to get stolen yeah. um, imminently. Well, he's got another armoured buff machine. Well, I can shoot that, though, this yeah. time. Give me a time. Bam, so that'll do eight damage, because there's eight guys on this road. Mm -hmm. Please All start right. moving some guys out. Yeah, he's stolen the wagon, turned it into pikemen. Yes. That's okay. He's, this is his, like, sneaky Lyrian. Some of our guys, yeah, like, bribing our some of our guys thought stuff. he was actually... The real guy. Yeah. They were like, why are we fighting our own guys? So we could start blasting this guy down, and then that'll let us do all of our orders. Because we can order these guys to move off, you see, mm, off the road. Room. Um, and then we can give them back the order, move them back on. But we haven't got our catapult anymore, so do we really Moving need to do Moving them around that? actually doesn't help us very much. No. Um, we could do, uh, obviously we can damage every other enemy unit with the same power by four. So we can actually kill everything that has four life. So if we wait till the end of the battle, we can use yeah, that. Yeah, you want to use that at the end. And it'll blow away the rest of his stuff. I think we've got this in the bag, Ben, honestly. Yeah. Let's just uh, kill that, because that's going to be annoying. Man, these arbalisters are very good. They are excellent. So I upgraded these. Right. That was my first choice. Yeah. Um, so you can, you can sort of choose what you upgrade and play, but... Being able to snipe off the units you want to snipe. I feel like, I feel like yeah, getting rid of key units yeah. that buff everything every turn is, is a very key part of this game. Like, I'm, I'm just going to keep killing his stuff. Ruining his day. He's really been able to bear deploy anything. Maybe here. he's holding back his best stuff. Oh, maybe. But I, th I feel like I feel like a lot of his stuff relied on us playing badly. His pikemen have a rule for when they die: discard all copies of this unit from hand on deck. Wow. Oh, go. so we don't actually want to kill them yet because that thins out his deck. Hmm. These. She also has um, on yes. her hero power, mm -hmm. which you can use on a cooldown, five turn cooldown. It's ready now. If I do it now, shh, it'll kill all of these four guys, and mm. these guys will all shoot as well, and Ooh, then he'll get buffed. Wow. So that... I've built a pretty powerful combo here. But he is drawing a card every time we... Every time he plays one of those guys. Uh, oh, I see. So Maybe we do just want to wipe him out and just take everything out. Is like he he's gonna... just going to keep making more otherwise. I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe... I think it, I think it does, because he can play forever. So what, if we just kill one, though? Then it kills all of the ones in his deck in his hand. He can't play any more. Right, let's just do it now, then. Bam. Let's just kill everything. Wow, she's really going on a on a chopping spree. She it just destroyed his entire deck and all of these. But I think that's what we want, because the longer this game goes on, the more he steals from us. I see. And because otherwise, 
I guess if he keeps replacing them in his in his library yeah. with new ones. I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, we've got, we're in a very commanding yeah. spot here. Well, pikemen are here. The whole army's assembled. We ambushed them. They did set a chance. We followed them. We knew exactly what their strength was. Um, we'll just buff old uh, Reynard a bit more. Yeah, he could have a sip of his potion. Good. Right, what have you got for us? Some 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 dregs of foot soldiers. So these foot well, soldiers. These keep getting better and better though, don't they? Oh, uh, every time every time he plays one, it gets better. Yeah. Oh, an Imperial Brigade. So he should have played these sooner because he may have only drawn them. Oh. Later. I wasn't playing much stuff on the range row though. Mm. Anyway, we we there took we those guys down. That was that was very strong. Down so walls, this guy's a spy. Yeah. Yet Meave's halberdiers cut off. Though victory was theirs, the Lyrians left Rasberg in mightily low spirits. Hmm. They now knew well that Nilfgaard's spies were no less a threat than its heavy cavalry. Yeah, I'm gonna be careful. And its war machines that spit fuck. Yeah. Sneaky spies. So we got a bit of loot. We can pick that up and add it to our um, our supplies. We can talk to these guys, yeah. and they'll be grateful. If I may, the um, enemy yet lurks. So he's got to give, give us some us troops as well. There we go. Plus Stuff. four Thank troops. You. Thank you. So we can spend those troops on, on changing our deck around um, ah, if we want to. Or upgrading. So we've got enough money and things to probably pick something from the old workshop. So we've got a royal tent level two yeah. <laughs> so far. We can increase the royal treasury that lets us equip uh, an extra trinket. Okay. I feel like if the men are already in low spirits... Building a more lavish tent for ourselves might not be the, you might be right. <laughs> the best play. What, is so there anything we can do to like raise morale? Well, so you can get more units to mm -hmm. get more different cards, mm -hmm. uh, or you could go get some gold for every battle won. Oh, okay, that's like a, nice. an investment. The earlier you, you get that, the more quicker it pays or off. Or gain one recruit after every battle won oh, as well, which is quite okay, nice. Yeah. So these have obviously paths as well up up as mm. you go through the game. Like, which ones do you want? Oh, um, surely the mess tent, that's going to help morale, isn't it? Booze. I've already got the mess tent. Oh. Uh, I got that like one of the first things I got. I think maybe I'll just get the get the gold in because mm -hmm. then hopefully what that'll do is that'll mean that I get more of it back. It'll yeah. hopefully pay the quicker I get it. The quicker you get it, the sooner it pays off. off. Since I feel like I'm glad I should I probably need it. Uh, there are a few different things that let you uh, reveal like hidden treasures around the map yeah. and uh, unlock a bunch of extra stuff. Um, oh, gather volunteers. There's people inside. Uh, undoubtedly locked themselves in to keep self from the Nelf Guardians, but the devils have set it alight. We need to rescue them. So that if we rescue them... Yeah, we'll gain morale. We'll, we'll lose, we'll lose a couple of soldiers to the fire, Ugh. but we'll get morale and we'll get a piece of a card, Ben. Ah. So that this, this reveals, like, a new card. I don't know what card right. it is. But if once we find we've all the pieces. found enough of them around, we can add them to our deck. See, look at that. That's an actual Witcher monster over there. Yeah, is that a, um, a hag or something? It's like some sort of, yeah, I, I don't actually recognise what that is, but that'll be, because, th you know, there might not be any Witchers around here, but, no. you know, I mean, this an land. army can always, like, one of the nice things about the Witcher is that a lot of these places where the Empire has good civilization, yeah. they've just sent out they armies to yeah, kill these monsters. They don't monsters. need witches to fight monsters because they just send in a hundred guys. Yeah, so anyway, this place is looking a bit wrecked, isn't it? There's like, yeah. it's like burned down villages. Oh, there's lots of loot. With lots of supplies. I feel bad just like ransacking these burning towns, but I, I guess better we have them than no one has them. There you go. Well, that that is a look at Thronebreaker. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a couple of streams on this, me and Ben, mm -hmm. today and tomorrow. If you want to watch those, they might be live now, but they might not. They might finish. Um, you can watch the VODs. Yep. Uh, we're probably going to play through the campaign from mm. where I am and do some of the puzzles and stuff and have some fun. I want to fight a manticore. We'll do another video tomorrow, Ben, mm -hmm. where we might... You might be lucky. You Ooh. might be lucky enough to fight such a legendary beast. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there'll be another video tomorrow. Awesome. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.